Hello friends, uh, today we are going to learn flashing of lamp using timer and counter. Well, the motive of this experiment is to study the functioning of timer and counter. And to do the same, we are going to use flashing of lamp. So to begin with, let me quickly click on RS links. So here it is in my taskbar. So I'm going to click it to open it. So there it goes. After doing that, I'll click on communications and then I'll click on configure drivers. I'll have to select SLC 500. So here it pops up and then I'll click on configure wherein I'll have to click on the OK tab. So there it goes. Now I'll click on close and I will click on Micrologics. So that will open up. So Micrologics is opening. So here it goes. Now I have already written my program. So I am going to open the program which is already saved in my folder. So I'll go on file. I'll click on open. And here I will try and browse the folder where I've saved the program. So here it goes. So this is the folder and this is the flashing program. So I'll highlight that and I'll click on open. And so here it opens. So this is the program for flashing of lamp, wherein this is the start button. So the moment I click on right click on it and click on start, eventually this lamp will turn on. And as you see, there are two timers used. So the first timer is used to calculate the on delay and the second timer is used to calculate the off delay. Every time the off delay is complete, your counter will be incremented by one. I'm going to count this process for three cycles. After three cycles are done, the circuit will get disconnected because the done bit, the normally close contact of done bit of the counter is placed in the first and second rung, which will eventually cut off the supply to the lamp and the timer. Now, if you wish to re restart this process, you'll have to reset the counter, which is done by using switch I colon zero slash one. So without much ado, let's start with the simulation. So in order to start with the simulation, first I'll have to verify this ladder project. So I'll click on this. If you can see, I'll click on verify project. The moment the project is verified, you'll get an answer here. Verify has completed, no errors found. Then I'll go ahead, click on file and click on save. So now the project is verified and saved. Now I'll click on RS emulator, which is this at the bottom. So I'll double click to open it. It gives me an error message, which you need to ignore and just click on OK. Over here, click on file, click on open. Once you click on open, now figure out the file that you've just saved. So it shows the time 1129, which is the time of my system, which I have just saved. So click on that and click on open. Over here, you need to punch in a number one, which is the number of your PLC and click on OK. Then you'll have to click on run. And now you're all set for the simulation. So I'll click here, get back to this page. Over here, I'll click on go online. So the moment I say go online, now my PLC is in run mode and it is online as well, which is indicated by the left rail and right rail, which have turned green. I'll have to click here, right click on it. Either I can say force on or I can say toggle. So by clicking on toggle, let's see what happens. So clicked on toggle, the lamp is on. After three seconds, it has turned off. Now after the off delay, see the counter is incremented by one. Once the counter exceeds three, this will open. Eventually, the lamp will be off forever till you reset it. So have a look here. So here, the counter is opened and that's the reason the lamp is off. Now, 
the process will repeat only when I reset the counter. So I'll click here, I'll right click, I'll say toggle and again I'll say toggle. So the process starts again. So that's it friends, that's it about the simulation for, tra for flashing of lamp. Thank you.